One moment, guys. You have to bear with me again, because for some reason my camera has resetted itself to really far up. I need it down so you can actually see my face. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's go in here. Microphone. Yeah, microphone. Fairly well. That should all be fine. Uh, uh, the time. So it's close enough to where I was. Shut up, stupid thing. So I've switched to a gamepad. Well, this is actually a Xbox 360 controller, actually. So let me just go on here. Go back on here. There we go. We are back. And we are sorted. Though I will say, it is much harder to use a gamepad. Just saying. So here we go. Just going to smash some spots. So the Twitch app's being absolutely shit. As per usual. And uh, it's frozen. What are these things? Which is just my favourite when it freezes. I know I'm supposed to be spooked, but I've seen it before. Right, uh, let's go behind here. Uh, there's something to collect on the table. It's really hard for me to get used to this because... <sighs> can you even see my face? Yeah, you can see my face. That's okay. Because I was doing it with a mouse and keyboard previously. But it seems that the mouse is... Oh god, I didn't even see that was on the ceiling. Oh god, things just got creepier. Uh, I don't know why, but with the mouse, it was really f***ed up. I don't know why. With the gamepad, it seems to be fine. Fingers crossed. This is where it fucked up last time, but I've not had the problem, and I've rushed through the last part. And, like, honestly... This has to be the emitter. Uh, I'm so screwed if there's a boss fight in here. I am so legitimately, deeply, and completely screwed. Because... <sighs> I accidentally used a syringe before. That doesn't open. Weirdly enough, it's giving me more motion sickness. Don't know why. It's very subtle, motion sickness, but uh, it's there. The motion sickness is there. I lean forward when I get nervous, if you've noticed. I don't mean to. This is definitely a boss fight area. I mean, look at it. There's loads of places to run away and go, oh god, and try and run away from something. Oh god, these images are disgusting. Um, what are we supposed to be doing in here? Okay. So I'm terribly sorry that... Uh... Oh Jesus, this is gonna go bad. Authorization required. Please connect an authorized terminal. Ah, oh, just so happens. Terminal? Must mean this communicator. I'd say so. Restart sequence initiated. Oh, Jesus. Eh, uh, something tells me you might not want to be near that. Uh, dog. Oh, shit. You've been searching for me for so long. So I have come. But wait, it's not me you seek, is it? No, it's the girl. Well, wow, he's as emo as gets. Offended. But how can I be? You're not the only person who wants her power. That's his daughter, mate. If there you is got it all another, wrong. one far more deserving. One who can offer rewards you could never imagine. So sorry, but you've been outbid. <sighs> oh. Fear radiates. Ah, that's gross. It's beautiful, but not yet finished. I am Stefano, and now you are my art. Oh, what the fuck is that? Ew! Oh, jeez! 
this is not as Meet my beautiful obscura. Ew. Restart sequence. You gotta be kidding me. Sequence will complete in 90 seconds. I can't move, by the way, guys, just so you that know. Thing is stopping the emitter from activating. Is it? Oh, 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 oh. oh God! Ah! The fuck is that thing? Oh my God, that's really scary and I'm pressing all the wrong buttons because I'm not used to this. That's really fucking scary. Scary, scary. I can't. I just have to hold it off until the emitter starts. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ, this thing is freaking scary. 70 seconds. Oh god, this is really freaky. I don't like this. I can't see and I'm not used to the controls. Oh my god, where is it? God, I, my lenses are going blurry because I haven't blinked for so long. Where the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's there. Okay, I'm just gonna like run away like a motherfucker. between orgasmic sounds and pain. It's really weird. It's making me quite uncomfortable, if anything. But we're just gonna pretend that it's not, okay? Oh, you fucking slag bag. Bitch! Don't tell me, I still have to, like, attack this thing. I can't see. Ah, my eyes. Alright, let me just, uh... Exchange type. Uh... my own ass but what am I supposed to do now if he's gone he didn't leave Lily here where did he take her should Why give Kibben an update about this screw Kibben she's not helping you mate right. shit maybe I'll get a signal outside yeah yeah can we stop walking right I don't think there's any ammunition in this area I'm just gonna give it a quick sweep just to check. Well, I'm guessing we're going through that. Are we going through this door? Or are we not? Well, if this door's open, if there's nothing in here, why is that so? It's weird. Okay, well, it's worth a look. Right, okay. I think I did fairly well considering I'm, I'm not used to using a controller. <laughs> Uh, it comes to something when I used to use controllers constantly because I played on consoles, but now I actually struggle a little bit. I tend to get used to PC controls and then it's just kind of like using a completely different thing is really difficult. This game has definitely had a spike in difficulty and scariness. That thing was freaky. But we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Oh yes, give me all of the goods. Right, um... 
and then we're going to take that. I mean, an Xbox controller is actually really good for this game. Just because I, it's got so many different buttons and things, it's actually really quite comfortable. And I can sit here in the comfort of my chair, reclining and playing with a controller. But, yeah. That was stressful. Wow. There's a lot of health. I know I did put this to casual because... A lot of people said the game was actually quite difficult, but it's fairly easy. But I guess can't it's believe these I've had bastards it use Lily like some kind of science experiment, and then they have the nerve to send me in to clean up their mess. It's like some kind of sick joke. Eh, well, it kind of is. You know, are you kidding yourself? They actually give a shit about you, Sebastian. Like they obviously don't. They don't care. For care they don't care about their operatives, and. Uh, I'm trying to reserve the shotgun for, like, when I need to. Do you know what I mean? Let's put the start. Ooh, shiny. Move your ass. Move your ass. Right, so what's melee? That's melee. There we go. Locker keys. I know I've probably missed a load of locker keys. Actually, let's have a look in here. Because in here looks, uh... Like nothing's here. What is that? Is that like some sort of water fountain? I don't know. Are they common in America? Alright, it's a crafting station, so I'm gonna use the craft station and I'm gonna save it. Because I haven't saved for ages. Let's do handgun. I will say the crafting in this game is really easy. As crafting goes in games, it's really quite easy to get used to. Uh, new slot. There we go. That's more like it. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm getting a little bit used to it now. I think we're good. Right, so that's where we came from, so this is where we need to go. Oh, there's some handgun bullets right there. I just have to be really careful with, like, the steering of the camera. Of course, I... Upgraded, uh, uh, crafted a load. Right, let's go. Anything below? No. Oh man, I don't know motion sickness now. Uh, I'm not like too bad, but I'm just getting slight motion sickness. <sighs> Here we go. Cutscene time. I don't want to skip. Damn I actually want to see what's going on. Son of a bitch still has Lily. Don't give up, Sebastian. And now I'm back to square one again. We've re-established contact with the marker, Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Uh, I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. And Kidman has nothing to say about so this. Close. I can feel it. We want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Mm. Yeah. Sure you do. <gasps> Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. I think she's gonna have to betray yeah. them. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk. 
dark, Kidman. Sounds like he Don't worry it. about it. But right now, you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. That's so weird, okay. just to see him, like... In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. Writhing. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Oh, bad. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. I Gotta can't figure, figure out, out where you took her. Oh. Think I might have just figured it out. Not yep. doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. Well, you know how to get into the marrow. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. I'm not found Sorry. the core. That lunatic still has her, but I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Oh, D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm D5. not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. I don't know about that. Your daughter in a mutated form trying to bite your head off would probably shock you. <laughs> Just saying. I don't want to jinx it, but, you know. It's the honest truth we're looking at. Exit D5. Right, let's see if there's anything around the back of here. Just... Oh! I called it. See, it's places like this. I'm pressing A. There we go. Ugh. Do you know what? For someone who's never really used an Xbox controller and was used to PC controls, I think I'm doing fairly well. I'm not doing amazingly, but I'm not sucking completely. So that's good. Da -ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, sorry about that earlier, guys. I don't know what was going on with the controllers with the mouse. It's the mouse exclusively, because we're fine now. Ah. Uh, I hear Debussy. One of my favourite things. Kitty! Oh, kitty! Hello, kitty! Hello! Meow, meow! That's a kitty. It's a very cute kitty. Uh, right, so let's do some upgrading. Oh, such a cute kitty. Let's meet the creepy nurse. That was loud. Detective Castellanos. Hi. Always a pleasure to see you. Why are you always in my face? Like, before she was in my face. Uh, uh, I'll have those. Oh. Alright, I won't then. Uh, well, I guess that'll be good in a case of emergency. Uh, blah. This one? Oh, man. Now I've got no locker keys. That's pooch. Well, at least... Uh... Oh, I don't want to speak to you. Alright, let's upgrade. Ah. Uh, right, everything except for recovery. Holy... Health items. That's quite cool. That's a bit expensive. So, uh, still to maximum. Let's do that because running away seems to be something that I'm very good at. <laughs> uh. Defiance. If I would have just barely enough to kill you, you'll grit your teeth and bear it remaining alive for a small amount of health. Okay. Well, let's talk to her. You've returned. And now you fully understand what you're up against. He's powerful. He's also a sick freak. But he is as driven as you are, and seeking the same thing. 
You are more alike than you'd care to admit. I'm not like him. He's a murderer. And there are no bodies strewn in the path behind you? I'm not here to debate with you. Let's get going. I've got stuff to do. Mm. In order to manage to do some jobs, you would have to have psychopathic tendencies just to be able to deal with the amount of stress and trauma that it causes. Just saying. Okay, let's do some saving. Those magazines have got blood all over them. You know, just, uh, if we look. Okay. I must pull some attractive faces when I do that. How much? It won't allow me to attack. Okay, full health. Oh, I could have saved there anyway. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Right, let's go back. Oh, back into the marrow. D5. Okay, let's run! Right, so we're in the central area. Exit B2. So now we're looking for D5. Okay. West access tunnels. Excuse me? This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Yep. Oh, spooky place this is. Uh, west. Oh. So, section A. Yeah, that doesn't really tell us much. Dad? Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. What? Stick. Just frequency. Not sure how this works with the controls, so hey, there we go. Okay, I had it down with the uh, keyboard, it's just that I didn't realise you had to actually rotate them. I, I know it said rotate, but my brain was like, right? Okay, so we've got some goo, and we've got some sticks. We've got this, which is load nothing. Okay, well, it was worth it for those uh, few items. Right, let's keep going. We'll see his body language is really well done in the animations department of this game. Well, we've got a load of groaning and moaning. What has he got on him? Let's just touch his crotch. Ooh! Ooh, wow! Okay. Oh, that's nice. I can now carry more handgun bullets. Now nah, I'm liking that. Uh... Oh, hi. I actually didn't see you there. Oh, balls. I'm gonna die. Well, uh, I mean, that went a lot better than I expected it to. <laughs> I seriously need to adjust the options. No. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, 
Let's take it down to 30. Just to stabilise it a little bit. Just because it's just... There we go. So that's pretty quick. But it's so quick that like the slightest movement's just like... Whoa. I mean, that's pretty damn quick. But it's not as bad as that was because that was a little too fast. Uh, it's just all about getting used to it. See me? I just wanted to go in for the sneak kill. Because sneak kills are better. Well, that's another officer who's dead. Dur, 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 dur. Oh. Well, I just realised I was an idiot. Oh well. This looks very reminiscent of an airing in the first game. We got chased by Reuben. He comes up the stairs, you have to run back and then things go all crazy. This is like one of the locks that had to be disarmed by... I uh, can't remember his name. That's that's the guy. Can't remember his name. He was a great guy. He really was. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Well, it gets dark down here. Oh, that's better. I am giving myself some low-key motion sickness. I will admit. So I'm terribly sorry, guys, if this is giving you motion sickness as well. I apologise. You are not suffering alone. I know that doesn't make the feeling of sickness go away or the headache. I tend to get a headache. What the is that? Whoa. Oh, what the hell is this stuff? Oh, it looks yeah, um, inappropriate in a way. Oh, I now feel more sick. Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Oh. I'm gonna have to do it. You can't shoot it. Well, it was worth a try. This is disgusting. Excuse me. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's to your hard wife. to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra, you were right all along. I mean, it does sound crazy but, if you think about it. But why am I seeing this now? Because the stem is trying to show you your own mistakes? Ugh, God, this area is disgusting. Uh, what's over this way? <laughs> Oh god. God, okay, nothing. Oh, why do I feel like these things are going to come to life? It won't let me open the door quickly. Oh dear. Sneak past it. Oh, 
Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. Ooh. Oh, I nearly got spotted. Okay, I'm guessing when it's like looking right over there, that's my time to kind of gun it. I'm really scared it's going to see me. I did think it might see me there, but I wasn't quite sure. But that's okay. Right. Let's let's do this again. Oh, God, that thing is so ugly. Yeah, you can't still see me. Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. I'm gonna have to go this way. I'm stuck. I was trying to sneak past it, but it saw me anyway. Okay, well, let me go up the ladder. Bullshit. Come on! Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta get the hell out of here. You don't say. Well, that was hairy. I mean, I was trying to avoid it, but... Hello, game. Can, can I melee attack? Obviously not. It's not gonna let me. Okay. Random. Right, okay. Well, that was hairy. But we're alive and there doesn't seem to be anything of use in this room. Meh. Strange. Oh boy! Oh, shit. That's space fight! I, I got spotted, but I'm not sure whether that's. Don't I this place count was on that. Supposed to be fucking stable. Uh, it is stable, but it's just messed up. Right. Uh, down there's messed up. D five. That was very dead space like. There's a bit in dead space where you get grabbed and you have to like shoot something in strangely an orange glowy thing. actually easier on this kind of platform. Let's have rid this. Okay, displacement protocols. Emergency call displacement protocols. Uh, it's imperative that the missing call be replaced as soon as possible. The call is missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. 
The crow's missing for 36 hours. Emergency protocols must be initiated in order to prevent the crow from escaping. Uh, emergency protocols are only acceptable Oh, accessible for Mobius operatives with an Alpha security clearance. Can only be viewed on Marrow servers. That sounds dodgy to me. To stop the core from escaping. Now, why would the core want to escape? Just saying. Maybe the core has a good reason to want to escape. <laughs> Seems a little dodge to me. It's a little bit dodge. Oh, now I can melee attack. No smoking. Here we go. Ooh, security cameras. Tara's yawning. That store we just came through. Someone's what are we going to see? Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Oh, Don't shit. move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? It's not no. dead. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. Who the hell is this woman? She's obviously injured. I mean, her arm's all messed up. Oh, is that... Yokiko? Oh my god, it is. She's alive. Holy shit. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know wow, my name? Wow, well remembered. I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter, Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Ow, Lack my of mic expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Hey, she's alive. Better than Combat the rest of them. My forte. That's fine. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. It's okay. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have. O'Neill. The only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms, but in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the yep, worst possible situation. Head. You're a shrink. Yep. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. Power. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair a communicator so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless. He's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Uh, Lily thinks I'm dead? So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. 
I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll lose a mind. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. I like this lady. She's more if front. Mobius She's knew honest. If to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel yep. terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. A lady did say that she was in a room with an Asian lady, so I'm guessing this is who she was speaking about? Something more to this? You said you think this? there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. But what do you think it is? Ugh. Right, that's all we can ask. Okay, she's cool. Uh, she's very upfront and very honest. I like that. Okay, well there's lots of health and stuff. What other stuff have we got in here? Uh, right, we have got a little bit of health missing, so uh, do you know what? I'm actually going to keep the coffee just in case, and I'm going to use one of these and take one of those. I might as well. There's an abundance of them everywhere I've been. So I'm going to let her be, so I'll investigate that in a moment. Let's pick this stuff up. Do do do. Through here. Okay, that's where that is. There's a place to save. That's the exit. So let's investigate this first. So, to all concerned, from Operative Grisham, uh, Lily Castiglianos, initial findings. Ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, only two possible candidates. Egomatics with sociopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened to the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendency was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. I have, I have uh, issues um, with that. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a rampant imagination that imagined all sorts of horrifying monsters. So how would a child be better than a psychopath? If a child's mind can devise things and make even the stupidest things into a monster under the bed. You know, a sock can be a hand. Do you know what I mean? So if that's a child's mind, why give a child that much power? Do you see where I'm going with that? It's like... It's just... It doesn't make sense to put a child in. It just doesn't make sense. A child's mind is not stable enough or rational enough to be able to uphold a world full of adults. Not only that, a psychopath is also not a good 
person or a sociopath even. But what about an extremely empathetic person? Surely that would be a better bet than a child or a sociopath or a psychopath? Surely. That scared me. Uh, I don't want to go in there just yet. I've got everything I need, so I'm going to kind of carry on. I'm going to save, because we've gone through quite a bit. I know I just saved, like, a moment ago, but hey. I don't know how many chapters there is to this game, actually, now I think about it. I don't know. So that's the new safe house. I'm guessing he bled out. Yeah, he bled out. I mean, if it nearly ripped his arm off and he lost blood, then he was gonna die anyway. And if he felt like he needed to rest, he was probably gonna die. All right. Right. The theater. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm so coming for you. Oh god, that's touchy. Uh, uh, that's safe house. Where the hell is the theatre? This is everything else. Let's start with the theatre. Another part. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another one of those. <laughs> I don't like those noises. I'm just gonna take that and just kind of stay well away from those sounds. So where the hell is the theatre? Oh balls, there's Oh Headshot I would say like their death animations are actually quite cool. Uh, I've already got one of those. Uh, don't tell me that like they're all after me now. Oh Jesus. There's some scary noises. Sons of Liberty. That is a foreboding sound and I don't like it. Ugh, there's a lot of blood and stuff. Oh, that is sick. The hell are these things about? Damn it. Lily's inside there. No, Perhaps shit. This one is more to your liking. Listen. No! Somebody help me! I'm preparing my greatest work yet. But He's messing you with are you. not worthy enough to witness it. Not until you learn to respect my art. Respect art, huh? Time to put Hoffman's theory to the test. Chapter 7. Ah, it's 
enough of that. Um, I'm not enjoying listening to the disturbed screams of people dying. So, let's go on the way to the safe, uh, safe house. Let's set a waypoint around there somewhere. Let's, um, ow. Let's start our way around there. Something bakery. Okay, let's take this. Holy balls. The fuck? Excuse me. I was doing something. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let's go. Because <laughs> they're all. Batch. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but. Uh, that was a little bit hairy and I kind of got mobbed a little, so... You gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Hey! How would you like to dance? Uh, 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 can I ask you a question? That's one of Markiplier's, I think. He always says, can I ask you a question? Is there anything here uh, worth? No, just a stinky pile of dead things. I thought I could take that. I didn't think he was actually going to climb. So I can't get in there. That's fine. It's got one of those Mobius locks on it. Right. Uh, wrong. Ooh. Green goo. Let's uh, take the green goo. Do we get to spend that? Uh, let's. Game. Okay. I will say the game's actually not that responsive. I have to admit. Normally I wouldn't use that, but hey ho, you've got to do what you got to do. So, right, the art's this way. My tonsils are hurting, man. I'm not very well, by the way, guys. So my tonsils are hurting a little. So if I sound a bit off or uh, my voice is a little weak sounding, that'll be why. I'm all right. It's just that. Uh, yeah. Um, is that the bitch I think it is? Oh my fucking gosh. Are you kidding me? That is exceedingly unfair. I'm not fighting her. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh, that was 
unfair. This is not going well. I can't climb up. Oh, shit. There's more of them! They're coming from over there! Oh my god, I am getting mobbed something crazy. Right, I'm gonna have to... Oh, reload! Help! Help! Hello, game! I'm gonna die. Any moment, I'm gonna fucking die. Game! Work with me! That's not the one that I wanted. Change bolt. Uh, I wanted... Explosive! I can't use an explosive bolt on him. Ah, a bit screwed. I'm dying again. Oh wow. It better be. Because this was a massive piss take. Because I've got no ammunition now. And I've got one health thing. Hey, oh my, my god. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking ah. for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. Come on. Game, let me pick stuff up for once. As one complaint, the game does not want me to pick shit up. I don't know where the hell this guy's gone. It doesn't give you time. That's the problem. Alright, that's where the save point is. That's fine. Alright, whereabouts is it? Let's have a look. Where the hell is it? It's not through here. <laughs> Oh, it is. Okay. Let's uh, Come open on this in. up. They can't get in here. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? Yep. I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is. Yeah. We're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck, though. That's why you're here, huh? That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Say. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have Ow. it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. 
What's in it for me? I was going to say, you do how that is that me? helpful? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to start that. I'm going to continue with the main storyline, considering that's where we're going. Safe house, let's take all the shit, because we've got shit to do and there's some good stuff in here. Uh, that button. I'm sorry I'm sat weird, but I was getting uncomfortable the way I was sat before. That's more like it. Um, I will actually go in there and do some crafting. I know that you guys are probably struggling to see me, but I'm really quite uncomfortable in this chair. Uh, it's that way. It's literally right beside behind me. But. Crafting! Handgun! That many! Boom! a bit of green sludge. Uh, green gel. Yeah, let's do some upgrades. Pretty much in this game I've, I've noticed that even with the old game, upgrades are like We've got the to one... Stop meeting like this, detective. Quit flaming with me, it's weird. Alright. Um, health. That's expensive. Uh, that's not good enough for me to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Treatment. Okay. There's gotta be a coffee machine in here somewhere. If I remember correctly. I don't I've not got any more slides. Kitty, step meowing. There'll probably be one back in the safe house. machine. Coffee? Drink coffee. Otherwise drinks coffee. <sighs> oh yeah, the would you look disgusting. at that? Only one I've got, man. <laughs> That's kind of funny that they've actually put that detail in. Right, let's save because we've done a bit. Boop. Uh, let's overwrite that. Might as well. I doubt I'm going to need to go back to that point. Especially seeing as I've locked weapon caches. Okay. Oh, got hair on my face. Work of art and destroy them. So we're getting close to this other part of art. So let's uh, let's get on with it because I want to make a little bit of progress before I finish as well. Oh man, that's loud. That's that's loud and scary. Oh balls! I'm not fighting her. Ah. Oh fuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, 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 game! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck it up! Oh, thank 
god. This is a really nice place. Oh. It's really lovely. Nice fire. Fuji Dew. You can get a nice drink. What was that? Oh, climb. I thought it was going to let me sit down. I was like, oh, that's cool. But no. Oh, my ears. Hurting. Uh, let's, uh... Can, can, th there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. Uh, one thing I will say is these... These... Oh my god. Stop climbing on everything! These headphones do hurt my ears occasionally. Like, after a while. They start to put too much pressure on my ears. To the point where it actually starts to hurt a little. There we go. That's better. We're all sorted, guys. There's that fucked up piece of art. Can I go in this room? Nope. So this is his art? It's just a photo. It's just a photo. Yeah, but if we peed on it, he'd be really pissed off. I'm gonna stab the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's gross. Oh, he did not enjoy that. Shit. Locked. Gotta find a key or something. Okay. I saw that game. You can't pretend that I didn't. Ugh. Like a poem I wrote, actually. Strangely enough, I, I well, it's not a poem, but it's prose. But I, I wrote a piece of kind of prose. Stop moaning in my ear. It's weird. All right, this should get me close to that art. And you're sure of that? She's gonna jump out of nowhere. Shit. Maybe I can sneak by it. Oh my god. It's so uncomfortable for me because it's moaning down my ear. Just so you know. And fucked up. You fucking bitch. Game. Thank you. It's just like game. You're being a prick. Game, 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 game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, bitch! She could just fuck off. Ah! Oh. Oh. This is such bullshit. Move! Oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Go! 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 Balls, 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 balls. Oh my god. Okay. Stop moaning. Ah, I wish it would stop moaning. It's really gross and weird. Nice boobs. I'm gonna move this way. I'm going to move this way. I don't know where she is, I don't know what that means. Oh well I'm fucked then. Cause all it takes is for it to turn this way. 
And I'm spotted. Oh, fuck off. That's so unfair. It's just like, oh, I'm sneaking. I'm just gonna randomly sprint to where you are. Bell chat. I just realized it's holding its head with its arms. That's really creepy. No, 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 find me. Come on, game. Stop fucking with me. No, no, you saw nothing. Game, if it sees me, I'm gonna be real fucking pissed off. Come on, let me just get round this. Let me get round this. Yes! If it finds me now, I'm gonna be really pissed off. <laughs> oh, ears are hurting. Right, that's it. You sod off over there. Stop moaning at me. It's weird. Uh, come on. The second I start moving this thing behind me, it's gonna go ape shit. <laughs> Made it. Hopefully, I'm done with those things for a while. Those things? It's a thing. It's a singular. It's just one thing with three legs. Right, let's. Well, there it is. Oh, come on. Ooh, what the hell? Ah, oh, I see. Whoa, 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 Um. Okay, Hoffman. Hope you're right about destroying these things. <laughs> I gotta destroy. Oh god. Here we go. Oh man, that's gonna piss him off. Shit's about to go down because I've just pissed that him off. Freak's work was actually therapeutic, but I'm not done <laughs> yet. One more. Some shit's gonna go down because he's gonna be real peed off for that. I think we all know that. It's like, I just destroyed a bit of his art, and you know how he feels about his art. So he's gonna be real peed off right now. And that was actually pretty fun. In some ways. You see, this game does stealth really well. Some games kind of rely on stealth a little too much, to the point where it becomes tiring. It's like, Home Sweet Home was pretty good, but my main problem I had with it was how much it relied on the stealth. It was just constantly sneaking and avoiding the exact same monster. So the fact that we're avoiding different monsters and the pace keeps changing makes this game interesting. It doesn't get boring, it's not like, oh, this again because I did get a bit of that with Home Sweet Home, I have to admit. It just kind of, it was a good game. It was well made. It was definitely scary at first, but the scares kind of wore off once you died by the girl like a few times. It was just kind of like, well, it was just kind of the way it was. First thing it's here is, Devil's own tap room. 
You can stay out there, missus. Can we have both the duke box? Ah! Sounds like she's having a good time. Let's have those bottles. Let's have this journal. Right, barkeep's journal. Final entry is well worn journal. Tape room's been booming. Business is good. Lots of faces union these days. They're arriving in train load. And the thirsty is if, if they keep up like this, I'll be able to afford some more beer taps. Pete complains about the crowds, but I say more the merrier. He's always been cantankerous, but lately he's been acting extra weird. Oh dear. That's a bad sign. Whereas usual spot, giving new customers a stink eye and mumbling to himself, I would cut him off, but he's always been my best customer. He went crazy, I'm guessing. Oh dear, well I think we found Barkeep. Uh, she's having a party out there. I want some of what she's had. She seems real happy. Alright, let's take the weapon parts. Let's trip over things. Oh, this one looks messed up. What's going on? Let's oh, they're heads! This. So we get sucked into the painting. Ugh, that one is ugly as hell. Right, let's go off to find the key. I'm... Oh! My game crashed! Okay! Well, uh, it is fairly close to uh, 12 o'clock. So uh, I think I'll end it there, <laughs> considering my game just crashed. Oh, tonight's been turbulent. Okie doke. Well, that's a little bit better. Oh, man. My poor little ears. Right. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Today's been pretty good. Uh, I'll see you again very soon. And, uh, yeah, look after yourselves and the ones that you love. I'll see you again on Saturday. Same time. Uh, this week and uh, yeah I don't know what I'll be playing or doing on that day it's kind of a wild card but I'll do whatever I feel like so yeah thank you very much for watching I'll see you again very soon